Edmund de Wynne was not only one of the first boys at Campbell College, he was also one of the most heroic, winning a posthumous Victoria Cross medal. Edmund joined Campbell in 1895 and left in December 1900 to work for the Bank of Ireland. In 1911 he moved to Toronto, Canada, where he enlisted as a private in the Queen's Own Rifles for a while and then returned to work for the Bank of Canada. But when World War I broke out, Edmund re-enlisted in the Canadian Army and was sent straight away to Belgium and France to fight in the trenches. In the summer of 1916, Edmund was taking part in one of the worst battles of the war, the Somme, and close to the town of Fleur he would have been one of the first men to see one of the most important new military inventions, the tank. In 1917, Edmund was commissioned into the Royal Irish Rifles as part of the 107 Brigade, to which the Campbell College CCF is still linked. At the end of that year, he briefly visited his family in Cumber for the final time, for in December he was sent to San Quentin, where the Royal Irish Rifles were helping to defend the racecourse redoubt. The Allies were outnumbered by around four to one, but still Edmund's regiment managed to capture some German soldiers, who told him that a huge attack was being planned and it would soon be launched on the Royal Irish Rifles. On the 21st of March, the attack began. The Germans used shells, flamethrowers and poisonous gas. Then at about 5 a.m. fog descended on the front line and Edmund's regiment did not see the German troops until they were within 10 metres of them. The Germans were quickly upon the Allies and Edmund's position at the racecourse redoubt was hopeless. He was outnumbered and wounded twice, but despite this he still held his post, sometimes single-handedly, until reinforcements arrived. Edmund was killed 12 hours after the attack began. His death was witnessed by three other comrades, and it was only after he died that they surrendered. Edmund has no known grave, and like many men of the Ulster Division, nearly 600 who died that day, his body was never found. Edmund's mother went to Buckingham Palace to receive the Victoria Cross from King George V on the 28th of June 1919, the very day that peace was signed. There are many memorials to Edmund in Northern Ireland as well as France and Canada.